and welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. Today I've got an amazing show for you today. One of my very special guests is uh, Ojinga Carr. Uh, he's one of the guys that I've been following for a number of years. I met him through a seminar company that I thought would be a, a really amazing person to follow, learn from, even, uh, even to, to work with in many ways. One of the things that's happened this year is that he and I have actually uh, come together in some different um, workshops. I don't want to call it that. Maybe conferences would be better. Because the thing is, is that there are a lot of business owners out there that need good information. And I'm so excited to introduce Ojinga Carr. Ojinga, thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm so excited to, to be here and get a chance to spend some time with you. Thanks, thanks. Absolutely. I'm, uh, I'm really interested to let the audience know exactly what's, what's your story? I mean, where'd you, where'd you come from? Well, I got to tell you that um, even though my name's Ojinga Carr, I'm from Arkansas. And so uh, my, my brother and my sister's names are Michelle and David. <laughs> but, they're, but they're 11 and 12 years older than me, so I was one of those surprise babies. My mom hates when I say that. Um, but I, I love helping people. That's the thing. And it's been something that's gone into my entire life has been how do I help people? So from, from college on, I played football in college. Um, and from college on, I always either worked in sales or worked in nonprofits, right. working with kids and working to do so. And so all those things intersected in my life. Um, I like to say, say that I had a, a, second, a second birthday. So on September 22nd, 2006, I was in a hospital um, and I was extra thirsty and couldn't figure out and those different things that were, that were going on. And so I went to the hospital and when they took my blood sugar, it was 954. Um, and so for those of you who don't know anything about uh, diabetes, it should be about one-tenth of that uh, is what it should be. So it's ten times what it should have been. And so the doctors were trying to figure out um, why I wasn't either dead or in a coma. Uh, and, and they're all whispering, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I couldn't, I couldn't understand what it, what it, what it was. Um, but that day changed my life um, because I had thought, that in my life that I was going to play professional football. That's what I figured. Um, a big guy, I figured that's, the, that's, that's what was going to happen. So even though I did well in school and those things, that's what I figured I was going to do. I got injured, didn't make it, and so I put myself into a self-destructive destructive mode that was horrible. Um, and I wasn't able to be able to, to be the best person that was I was able to be able to be. And so on that date, on September 22nd, I made a bargain. And I, I said, if you get me out of this, I'll do better. We've all kind of done that, Pat, sure. um, you know, and done that in our lives. But for me, um, it wasn't about the bargain. It was about the work that was next. Mm -hmm. And so that's where things started to shift in my life. Um, at that point in time, I was working in a Fortune, uh, Fortune 100 company, um, and I was also running a nonprofit as well, too. So I had a lot of things that were going on, but I was being extremely uh, destructive with myself as far as not taking care of myself. Um, and so many times what's going on on the outside of our bodies, many times it's kind of a clue of what's going on, on the inside of your body as well. Absolutely. Too. And so um, at that point in time when I was 9, 954 in my blood sugar, I also was nearly 500 pounds. So, yeah. So, I mean, uh, I wasn't taking care of myself in the right way. And so I made that bargain and I started to do the work. Right. And that's one of the most important things that happened for me in my life was to be able to do the work. See, I've lost now about 185 pounds. Nice. Okay. Um, but it's not, weight loss is not about that 185 pounds or anything as far as that. It's about three pounds. And that's the three pounds that's in your, your brain. The, the average human brain weighs three pounds. And so if we can make shifts in our mind, then we can make differences. Because Pat, I was unfortunate enough to have uh, gotten sick also without insurance. Which, is, which, which, which was a bad idea as well, too. So I started at the absolute bottom because I was at my heaviest and also ultimately ended up having to file bankruptcy in order to be able to get out from under the bills and the different things that were there. But what I realized is that I could do something different in my life right. and that we could make differences in our lives and be able to make changes in our lives and to be able to do it. And so um, I didn't become a weight loss guru or any of those things like that. I didn't, I didn't go and have surgery um, to be able to, you know, I'm, I'm not against seeing those things. Started making changes in my life. And those changes affected my life, my business, affected the people who were around me. And 
it gave me my purpose. And so when you have a purpose in your life, it makes something turn on in your life. It makes mm -hmm. something change. Right. That light turns on for yourself. And so you know that I'm here and what my purpose is here for. So right. I knew that. Absolutely. Well, I know one of the things that you do really well is that you're real systematic and in, in the, the formulas that you bring to the marketplace and working with business owners. I know you spend a ton of time in the, in the uh, structure of businesses in a way that help them create more success. And that was actually one of the main reasons that uh, I wanted to work with you in some of these areas that we're creating. Um, one of the things you want to watch for folks is the, uh, the Limitless Summit mm -hmm. and the I Dream I Achieve, plus mm -hmm. the, what are the other ones? The Breakthrough quick? Accelerator Boot Camp as well, too. Breakthrough Accelerator boot, boot Camps uh, that, we're, that you're creating mm -hmm. that are so successful in giving business owners, really, the tools that they need to create the success that they want. When you think Limitless, think you used to work for somebody else and have to follow all their rules. But as a business owner, you make your own rules up. It's all made up, folks. And we've got several more keys coming right after the break. And I know you won't want to miss them. Thanks for being with us on the Business Spotlight. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Business Spotlight. My guest today, Ojinga Carr. He's a certified uh, coach in some in certified high, high performance, performance coach. coach. If I can say that right, that would be amazing. Certified high performance coach, amazing individual. Really excited for the things that we're going to cover in this segment. If you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur in any capacity, if you're someone who's really trying to find their purpose, passion, mix it with your profession then you want to make sure you stay tuned to this show all the way through all four segments. Ojinga, this time I really want to talk about um, what you're doing to create the success you're having because you're touching the nation in so many ways. You touched all 50 states. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, created great success for thousands of business owners around the country. Um, what are you doing, really, to create the success you're having? So I'll tell you, Pat, that what I learned from my own personal trials and the different things that, that happened was really about how it is that we structure our business as well too. And so what happens many times when we, when we get started in a business, especially when we're a small business, is that someone says, hey, you're great at painting and you should go open a business. And so you get started with that and you say, okay, awesome, I'm, I'm great at painting. So if you're good, you'll have a, an accountant and a lawyer and we'll get started, but we don't, know how to structure a business. Right. And so you're good at painting, but you kind of suck at business. And it's kind of one of those things that happens as far as that. And so um, what we want to do is that we end up working our businesses like we work our jobs. And see, Pat, many times uh, when, when we're in a job, we work just hard enough so that we won't get fired. And they pay you just enough so that you won't quit. Right. And so you find yourself in a business and you're in a bad situation. And so in the same way where I was in that hospital bed and I was in a bad situation, it put me there. So what I started to figure out for myself and for what ultimately works for businesses are three C's. And those three C's are clarity, content, and consistency. You see, if you can be clear about what your expectations are in your life, if your content can be, can be legal and something that you can actually do, so something that you have an ability to do or that someone can do for you, and you can be consistent in your actions, you'll be successful in whatever it is that you're trying to do in your life if you can manage those three C's. So it's the same thing in your business. If you can be clear about your expectations for your employees, know what it is that you want them to be able to do, the content of that can be legal, and we can say that it's legally and something that we actually want to be able to get done, and then we can be consistent in our actions as far as how we take towards our employees, then we'll be successful. And so 
that was the, the secret and the, the, the recipe for success for me. And it's also a recipe for, for success in any business. And so if you structure yourselves in that way and you look at it, then now we can create that for our businesses and be able to figure out how we can be successful, which is really important. Yeah, I know one of the, the other guest speakers we're going to have on at the Limitless Summit later this year is uh, that we're, we're really, t uh, Scott Barhol, mm -hmm. and he talks about Michael Gerber's program mm -hmm. where he says, you know, most business owners have uh, an entrepreneurial seizure. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they are good at something, they go jump into that business, but they don't understand the business mm -hmm. of the business. And so one of the things that you do is you bring in that structure, that clarity, that content, and the consistency that can really change the lives of and the destiny of any business. When I, I think about some of the people that uh, you work with and some of the results that you've created, can you give me an example of any of the, the businesses that you've worked with and how you've been able to help them transition to the next level or even real great success in their business? Absolutely. So what we see many times are businesses that have explosions in growth. And so we have a client that went from 30 employees to 150 employees almost overnight. Nice. Got huge contracts, big things, started doing it. Well, we went from a mom and pop situation to a place where they needed real structure in their business. And so that's what it is that we're searching for is being able to create that structure. So we create, we create a new policies, new job descriptions, got some leadership training for their people to be able to figure out how do we lead and to be able to do that. Because understand that in order to be successful, we have to make sure that we are grooming our leaders, getting them to understand what it is they need to do, and that we have great content for them to use as well, too. Right. Um, I say all the time that really, you're, the, 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 what, what, who you really are is the distance between stimulus and response. Right. So something's happened, so how do we respond to it? How do we respond to it in our business? How do we respond to it in our life? How is it we can make sure that we can contain and be able to keep high performance to be able to do that? Well, one of the things that you're talking about, I see so many, many times, is that there's an event that occurs and we have a way of reacting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like to tell people, look, uh, adults are kids in big clothing mm -hmm. under pressure, sometimes otherwise too. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is that adults are kids in big clothing under pressure, so we've got a way of responding. Mm -hmm. You're creating a, what I call a pattern interrupt mm -hmm. between the, the, the event and what comes next. And then what's neat is that you're creating policies and procedures in a way that keeps a company out of trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's the key. If you were to sit there and, and summarize just three action steps somebody could do uh, real quickly, mm -hmm. um, what would be three quick action steps that they could do uh, right now? All right, so in your business, would it be, first of all, have a handbook. Make sure you have a handbook. handbook. Secondly, have great job descriptions that actually describe what it is that you're supposed to do. And then follow up with those two things. Follow up with those two things. Right. At what level does somebody even need an HR person? What do you think? Just Absolutely. If you have one employee, you need HR. Wow. So one of the things that you're seeing, folks, is that any business can create um, great success if they have the right content, the right clarity the right consistency in everything they're doing. Today's the Business Spotlight. My guest, Ojinka Carr. We're having a great show. Stay tuned for the next segment because you won't want to miss it. Welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. We're having a great show today with Ojinga Carr. Ojinga is a certified high performance coach, and he's a really good friend of mine. I'm really grateful to have him on the, on the air today because we're talking about how you, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, can really reach your dreams, that you could be limitless in every area of your life. And I love what Ojinga was saying last segment about that our brain is only about three pounds, and our brain is truly limitless. So in this segment, Ojinga, I wanna talk about some of the, um, uh, 
the I want how do I want to say this? Some of the things that you're well, who are you attracting is what I really wanted to say. I want to come out with what are you uh, what are what's your ideal client for the things that we're doing together and and that you're doing in coaching people to great success? Absolutely. So when we're talking about my ideal client, when we work with organizations, we work with small to medium sized businesses. Um, I'm a small business advocate. I, there's plenty of people who are advertising to your employees, to people saying these are all the things you're doing wrong and how to be able to sue you over them. And so for me, it's about how do we help those businesses succeed? Right. That most businesses don't go out of business because they're not good at whatever their business is. They go out of business because they're not good at business. Right. And so for me, it's about how do we create that and how do we structure that? But when you're talking about individually, as far as individual clients, I work with people who want to achieve more. See, understand, I was an athlete, and so we were really into peak performance. So we get up really high, and then we come back down. We get up for the game, come back down. We get up for the game, come back down. I'm about high performance. I'm about sustained high performance to create and to be able to do that. So I work with clients. I work with, I work with one of the largest um, small business experts in the United States. Um, I work with people who are just trying to figure out how to be able to structure their day in a different way. So it's different. It's not about where you are in your life. It's about where you want to go. That's where it is. It's not about where it is that how much money you've made so far. It's about where your aspirations are. That's who it is that we work with. It's all we created, the events that we created as well too. So I started with the Breakthrough Accelerator Bootcamp. It was about creating breakthroughs in your life. How do we break through? How do we break through to the next step? Then came the Limitless Summit. Um, with the Limitless Summit, it's all about how do we live that limitless life? How do you take those limits off of what it is that you think that you could do and be able to create it? And our third event that we created is the I Dream I Chief Academy, the business blueprint. So it's about how do we take this blueprint? Because when I got started in, in Business Pad, um, the way that it used to, the old way of doing things is that you bumped your head and just kind of figured it out. And so, but the new way is to understand that you need help and that you need people who've been in that direction, who've been there, have been able to be able to do it and create it. So what we decided is to create spaces in our events that we have in Memphis. And now, now we're starting to expand those events out to other places as well too. So we have the Limitless Summit that's coming up in, in, uh, in Fort Worth as well. Um, I have a, me a, a mastermind for five days in Mexico where we really pour into you for five days and, and we create real changes and real differences. Right. And so that's one of the great things, absolutely. You know, I, I'm really excited about the different things that we're doing. I know with the Limitless Summit, uh, we're bringing together Scott Barhold, who is a, literally a professional magician, and he's also uh, a master marketer and great with uh, all of the numbers side of a business, creating the right, uh, the right structure in the accounting part of a business, which sounds boring to me, but the guy literally teaches it with magic tricks. So I have to sit there and go, that is incredible. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's brilliant at what he does. The things that you do with mm -hmm. structure and creating the success formula mm -hmm. that are step-by-step -step procedures for creating great success. And then the things that I'll be teaching are strength-based leadership. How do you identify what it is that is your primary mm -hmm. gifting, but then how can you recognize it in your team in a way that you can develop a mentoring program. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that's all we are today now is coaches and mentors. Absolutely. The, the whole boss formula of the, of the bygone days are bygone, mm -hmm. but coach and mentor. And one of the things that I appreciate about having you, you and Scott together in the same place is that now you've got really three amazing speakers together I've seen you teach. The guy is a rock star. You should, you should, you got to really check him out. And then Scott is also, and to have that kind of proficiency and productivity and performance in the same place, it makes all the world, the world of difference. What are some of the things that you'll be teaching in the Limitless Summits that are coming in the next uh, few years? So the thing I love, Pat, uh, and that we teach in our in our in, in our, all of our our conferences is that it's not about your what or your why. It's 
about your how. There's tons of people that are in this space, whether it be, I'm not, I don't love the, the term motivational speaker because I think that it gets y'all motivated, but what are we doing? And so what we are is we're thought leaders. You're a thought leader in what it is you do. The things you're doing with strength-based leadership, the thing that Scott does, as far as with him being able to create that structure, it's about the how. So here's the how-to steps, but here's not like a how-to guide that's boring. Here's a place that we're taking you. And we're breaking those chains from the, that have bonded you of what it is you can do. And, we, and now you know that you can do it. And you know that you can take those places. And when you leave our, our events, you know that you can get it done. That's absolutely right. I mean, one of the things that I'm really excited about is what you're saying, Ojinga, is that when you have, when you have information, if you implement, you create transformation. Without implementation, it was a day of vacation, so don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the Business Spotlight. More to come right after this. Welcome back to this Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. I'm really excited about today's show with Ojinga Carr, certified high performance coach and uh, someone that you really want to make sure that you check out his material, the websites, the conferences that we're creating and he's creating this year and the years to come. You're going to really want to make sure that you keep an eye on him and that you participate and get into his circle and get into it right away. In fact, with that in mind, how does somebody get a hold of you? What do you want them to do to really connect to you and get engaged with what you're doing? Well, that is the thing. We want them to get engaged. You want to be engaged in your life, be engaged in your business, be able to take the things you need to be able to get done. So you always, you can find me. I have a really original name. It's Ojinga Carr. So at ojingacar.com, you can find out the latest things that we're doing. You can go to my blog. You can look at some different things as far as that. But there's a couple of programs that, that we keep that are, are things for you to get started that are awesome. Um, the first one is at teamcrushingit.com slash 21 days. That's our 21 day success challenge. You get 21 videos from me. Every morning you can get up with me and go and, and, and work and figure out how, what is it, we get a power word for the day. And so you take that power word in for the day and we figure out how we're gonna do that. How is it that we're gonna be powerful today? How is it that we're gonna get things done in a way that we need to get done? And so that's something that we use that people really love from the personal development side. On the business side, we also have 52hrtips.com. So every week, you get an HR tip from me, and we recycle those, and we change those out, and we put those in with different things so that you can understand that. Because I want you to be able to have help. What you will not be able to say from coming to me or to you are people who are the, that's one of the reasons why I love what it is that you do, Pat, because you have a giving heart, is that you didn't get help. We're going to give you varying levels of help. We're gonna give you varying ways to be able to get things done. So if you're a DIY person and you just need some things to be able to pop in and do it, we can do that. If you need someone to kind of stand with you and to be able to guide you for a little bit and then you can kind of fly on your own, we can do that. If you need someone for, for someone to really come in and coach and consult, because that's the difference really. Coaching is where I'm coaching you along. Consulting is where we're kind of doing the work for you. We can do that as well too. And so those are different ways to be able to connect with us. But find me on Facebook, Ojinga Carr. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a great place for you to be able to start off with. We have what's called the Dream Achievers Network, which is a group on Facebook. You can join it. I'm in there all the time. We, we drop lives in. We have different things that we do. And so I just want for things to be great for you. I want to be able to help you figure out how to be able to get things done in your business and in your life because I know the difference of where it is where you are sad and depressed and don't know, how to, don't know what to do versus the energy that you feel energy that you feel when you are moving in the right direction in your life. Absolutely. I know one of the things that is really good is when I, I look at some of the products and resources that you've created for businesses. I, I think about, you know, the, the HR 52 tips, that's one level, but you've got several levels above that where people can connect and get more resources because many times the person that does the HR 
I think you have a term for it. What is it? The, the slash, because they are the manager slash HR slash payroll slash janitor slash babysitter slash slash <laughs> slash. We have all these multiple responsibilities. And the reason why I know that is because when I was in that position in corporate America, that's the position I was in. We changed some things up, and all of a sudden I went from being a manager to what we like to call a slash. And so the thing is, is that that position takes away a lot of energy from you. That position takes away a lot of your will. You, people who are in those positions tend to work 50, 60, 70 hours a week. So that means that the job becomes your life. And so if the job becomes your life and you're unhappy in your job and your life, then you're going to be unhappy in life. And life's too short for us to live here and be, un be unhappy. And so what we do is that we help people figure out that structure so they can do that. Well, one of the other things you do really well, Ojinga, is that you literally have I want to say formulas for just about everything. Mm -hmm. You got the seven day a week formula for mm -hmm. what are you going to do today to grow your business? Uh, where Monday is one thing. What's Monday? Magic Monday. Magic Monday. Absolutely. Tuesday is? Talk about it Tuesday. And Wednesday is? Work it Wednesday. And Thursday is? Together Thursday. And Friday is? Follow up Friday. And Saturday is? It's uh, Saturday, Sanity Saturday. And Sunday, Sunday is scheduled Sunday. Scheduled Sunday. So, I so, mean, yeah, I mean by the way, that was, that's, that's golden. You ought to like, keep that segment of the video and and uh, re, 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 rerun it mm -hmm. uh, over and over again until you get all seven, right? Absolutely. Because that's a formula. And you've got so many of these little systems that I've seen you put in place, uh, the 21, 21 days, the different tools. And the thing that I, I want to make sure that people know is that you want to be at one of the conferences. If there's a conference that's coming up, go to ojingacar.com, Limitless, I Dream, I Achieve, The Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Any of those different tools. Anytime you get an opportunity to see Ojinga, you should do that because he has had some great impact on my life and, and thousands of others. This guy travels all 50 states already. He's done it for years. So um, one last tip, one action step, because information with implementation, what do they need to implement right now? I'll tell you what. What I'd like to tell you is that when you are – moving in business or in life, you are a member of my family. Uh, my father, David Carr Sr., said to me, we are a family related through affinity, if not through consanguinity. And so when he was saying that, is that we're related by the love of what it is that we do, the love of what it is that we're creating and what we're knocking out, if not by the blood that runs through our veins. And so know that you have family here. And so you've got a friend in the business, you have family in the business who can help you, who can be able to create, who will be able to create for you. It's not about me. It's about the people who I'm, who I'm here to help. Understand that it's my goal to help 10,000 people achieve their dreams this year. And so it's about 10,000 people being able to achieve their dreams this year. And I'm just so excited to see what your dream is so you can achieve it. That's right. I, I know that when you look at the different things that Ojinga's do, and I really encourage you to take action. Take action. Contact. Go to ojingacar.com. Connect with Ojinga. Make sure that if there, you want to get on the 21-day uh, challenge, you do it. This is the Business Spotlight helping you really create a limitless life in all that you do in your business. Thanks so much. See you next time.